Australia's firefighting efforts will never quite be the same. It's now supercharged thanks to an acquisition for the New South Wales Rural Fire Service. The largest capacity water bombing helicopter in Australia is now permanently based in Sydney's northwest and just in time for the fire season. It's the new recruit bolstering the state's firefighting arsenal. A $9.2 million investment flown in by our Defence Force today. Yet to be assembled, the CH-47 Chinook helicopter transported from Hawaii is now here to stay. The 11th aircraft to join the state's fleet. It can do an enormous amount of work in trying to suppress fires, making it safer for residents and safer for firefighters. The Superior Water Bomber, trialled by the Rural Fire Service last year, is known as a war horse on the battlefield. A formidable force when up against a bushfire. We hope that we never have to use it, but what a sight it was be at the time of a fire coming in to support communities under incredible threat. Unlike the service's famous Elvis air crane water bomber capable of carrying between four and six thousand litres, the Chinook can carry double that. If we're doing ten minute turnarounds, estimated about sixty thousand litres an hour on the, on the fire ground, which is ten times more than the aircraft that we're currently using now. For the approaching fire season, water or retardant will be stored in a bucket below. By next year, an internal tank will allow the aircraft to water bomb at night, refilling in less than a minute quick turnaround for a battle where every second counts. The Chinook will be operational in just a few days and will stay here at the Richmond RAF base. It will be the only one of its kind in the country ready when we need it most during fires and floods. The months ahead will be challenging with the weather drying up after three years of La Nina rains. The RFS now in overdrive with hazard reduction burns ahead of the worst grass fire threat facing the state in 20 years. What better time to prepare reinforcements while we still can?